Yo, what is up guys? Sean Plays here with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a thumbnail just like mine. So I have the links for everything that you're going to want to download in the description. So the first thing that you are going to want to download is Blender at blender.org slash download. And you're probably going to want to get it for whatever you want, well whatever you have. And then you're going to want to run it once. Once it's um, been run, there's really no use in um, having it right now. Because you're going to want to have a Minecraft rig. So you can just exit out of it. So the next thing you're going to want to do is download the um, rig from the description. It will be in somebody's channel, but the download is right there. So then you're going to... You're going to like want to open it, and then it's going to be just like this. And so then you're going to want to go and click Reload Trusted. So now it's going to be like this, and you're not going to have your skin file yet, which you probably want. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go and click this down here, which is 3D View. You're going to want to click UV Image Editor, and now you're going to want to click this, and then Skin point zero zero one you're gonna want to go image and replace image now you're gonna go want to go to wherever your like skin files are, is located and then you're just gonna want to like double click on it and it's gonna show you it And if that's it you just want to go and click 3d view now if it is three pixels you're gonna want to go to Timmy's rig and you're gonna want to um, go that down to three and also, you might want to show, click Show Layer so you can see how it actually looks. Now it's time for posing. But before we do that, I should probably show you the controls of Blender. So if you are going to want to scroll around like this to look around, you're going to want to hold your middle mouse button and like move around the screen. If you want to select something, for example, I want to select this um, yellow part, you just right click it and hold right click to move it around. And that's you left click doesn't really do anything for what you're going to want to do in today's video and that's basically all you really need for this um, part of it so now what you're probably going to want to do is move its head around because when you hold it like this ah, his head isn't where it's supposed to be and then if you like accidentally do that you just hit right click one more time and it'll go back to default now you're going to want to right click right there where it's like yellow and you're going to want to go to the top you're going to want to hit R and then you can move it like this and then you can also turn it like this and this but this is basics so then I can get it like that and now for the camera for the camera just move it wherever you would like you can also that's where you can also use R for just to rotate the camera and just get a nice little setup just like this so I'm gonna try and just get this as simple as it can possibly be move his arm a little bit over there and cape is optional if you don't like it you can just right click it hit D del delete or not um, delete doesn't work for the cape I guess I just throw it out of the picture normally so now I like this um, you just gotta wanna make sure that it's the right direction so just pointing it the right way so I think that that looks perfect I might just wanna bring it back just a little bit but that looks pretty good to me. So now I'm ready to render it and put it in my thumbnail. So to render it, you're just going to want to hit render up in the corner and hit render image. So now that it's rendered, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit F3. You're going to want to put it wherever you want it to go. And then you're going to name it. And then you're just going to click save as image. So now that it is saved, you are completely done with Blender, so you can just close out of it. Now to actually make the um, thumbnail, you're going to want to get any um, photo editing software. For me, I use Paint.net. I just find it as the best for free. And yeah, so then you're going to want to open it up. Now that you're here, you're going to want to hit File, New, and then you're going to want to put it as 1280 by 720 and now you're at the thumbnail size now this part is where you're gonna want to open up minecraft so I'm using shaders to get my thumbnail um, I mean like screenshots so then you're just gonna want to go get where whatever you want the background to be 
and then you're just, you're just going to want to take a screenshot which is just clicking F2 once. Now to access that screenshot you're just going to want to hit Windows R percent app data and you're going to click Minecraft and then click on screenshots. Now I'm going to want to open that screenshot into paint.net just like this by just clicking open and then accessing it. And now I'm going to take this and I'm going to just select the whole thing and then hit control C which is copy. Now I'm going to go to this and do just paste it in and it's going to say it's bigger than the canvas size. So you just want to click keep canvas size and you're just going to want to downscale this all the way till like you get the right way that you want it. So that's that's good for me. So now what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to go and open now the um the like the little player. So now I have my player. He turned out pretty good, but I have this black thing right here that I really don't want. So I'm going to go and get the magic wand and I'm going to click on it and I'm just going to click delete. And boom, and now we have our player. So just like the thumbnail, I mean the screenshot, we're just gonna select that the player part of it, control C, but this time what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna, gonna wanna go to edit and then paste into new layer, keep canvas size, and now you have your player right where you want it. You can move it around as much as you want. Um, I'm just gonna do the basic, just like that, kind of angle it. However you wanna position your player, and there you go. Now what you're going to want is finally some text. Now I recommend using cooltext.com for your text and I use Ice Cube and let's just put this as tutorial. Um, no, how to, to make thumbnails. thumbnails. Sorry, I can't type today. And I spelled thumbnails wrong. Thumbnails. Just like that, and if I like it, I'm just going to go and save it. Now I'm going to want to go back to here and go File, and I'm going to want to open my text. Just like the previous ones, um, just like the previous two, you're just going to want to copy it, edit, and paste into new layer, and boom, just like that, you have a thumbnail just like mine. And then you're just going to want to go File, Save As, and then just save it as a PNG. And that is how to make thumbnails just like mine. If this did help you out or you did enjoy the video, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and feel free to like and comment. Hope you all have an amazing day. My name is Sean Plays and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.